This is the highlight of these three days. Three days which were committed to giving everybody who works with digital technologies around the world towards social impact. We use the creativity for those issues and for those problems which affect their community and who have not just a simple view of this, but wish to make a really strong and sustained impact. The World Summit Award is in the context of the United Nations. It is conducted in 184 countries and it is an initiative in the framework of the World Summit on Information Society running until 2025 towards transforming the information society into a knowledge society. But our overall goals are very much aligned also with the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, which run from 2015 to 2030. And here we have uniquely a clear measurement of success and failure of each government, of each community, of the global community, in terms of reaching the eradication of poverty, the justice for gender, a food supply for everybody, and above all, to meet, deal with the climate crisis. We have here a global coalition of people who work together. And the framework which we have is the one of the United Nations, the ITU and also UNESCO. So it's my great pleasure to welcome at the very beginning of this award ceremony, Maricela Oliviera, who is the Director of Partnerships and Operational Plan Program Monitoring and who is a key person at UNESCO with whom we collaborate. Can we see the tape from Marisela Oliveira, please? Good evening, World Summit Award participants and organizers. I have the pleasure to celebrate with you the new laureates of the 2021 World Summit Awards. Since UNESCO was not involved in the World Summit Award selection process, I can speak from a privileged neutral position to say that the laureates are tech entrepreneurs and social business innovators that have an increasingly key role in creating local and global digital solutions. I wish to also take this opportunity to applaud each of the organizers of the World Summit Awards and your partners. The World Summit Awards provide not only recognition of your work, but also a global network for sharing insight, inspiration and collaboration among young tech entrepreneurs and social innovators. UNESCO recognizes that future innovation requires knowledge-based societies and lifelong education ecosystems that nurture and reward imagination, creativity, critical thinking, and a culture of collaboration, empathy, and inclusion. Innovation also will depend upon creating new economic livelihoods and opportunities aligned to a green and sustainable planet. Even as we close the global connectivity gap, education and digital skills will be needed in every community across the world to help address the spread of online disinformation, which acts in direct opposition to the right to universal access to information, as well as so many of the sustainable development goals, including health, education, cultural diversity, peace building, and the health of our climate. This evening, we will celebrate your imagination and commitment as we welcome you into the community of women and men who work towards international cooperation for development. Tomorrow, you will continue to multiply the knowledge, opportunities and digital skills that are needed to help shape the profound changes of a more connected world and to safeguard the unique voices of every community within it. I wish you a happy evening and offer my sincere congratulations move on to the next category and the next category is something which becomes increasingly important as people from poverty stricken landscapes try to move towards the cities and how do we make cities a livable humane environment where people want to live where people thrive where families can grow and where people can be born and grow old and that is the category smart settlement systems and uh, urbanization. 
And we have uh, somebody here who is living in one of the megalopolises of this world uh, in Africa. It's in Lagos, uh, in Nigeria. And I'm very, very pleased that Tommy Davis is with us, the president of the African Business Angel Network and one of the chief investment officers from the Green Tech Capital Partners. Tommy, how do you put this all things together? This is just incredible. We can't hear you. You have to turn on the microphone. Tommy, use the microphone, please. Microphone now on. Can you yes, hear me? Yes, it makes it so much nicer if we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I mean, we've got a continent to build. And we're talking about building smart settlements and, uh, and you know, as the urbanization grows. So, I mean... Somewhere here is an envelope that I have been sent by the World Summit Awards. Let me open it. Uh, so who's going to be that winner? Uh, you have a choice from somebody from Germany, from Belgium, from Chile, from Austria and South Africa. So well, I hope you're not partial to people from the country. Productive work. We're talking about sustainable living. Ladies and gentlemen, the global champion for 2021 for smart settlements and urbanization is are you ready for it yes mf jam from south africa ladies and gentlemen it's mf jam this is incredible <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you so well, much. I That's such Angela an incredible McCann. honor. No, hi, I'm Georgie Midgley. I'm the CEO of m jam and thank you for this incredible honor. It really means the world to us. m jam is the most incredible team, and we're just really driven by the same goal, which is to help as many people in South Africa as possible. So this award will really just go to strengthen our results, to do better, do more, and just reach higher. So thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Georgie, we, uh, many people are on the call now and they don't know what you actually do in terms of helping people who seek work. How does it work and uh, how does it uh, relate to organization and smart settlements? So we are essentially, we've positioned ourselves to bridge the gap between employment and unemployment in South Africa. And we do this by connecting organizations to traditionally inaccessible communities in South Africa. And they we put out tasks for people to complete and they can actually earn a living in the areas that they work because sometimes job seeking is unaffordable and it just helps them get that extra leg up. So uh, we are so excited about this award. So thank you. I can't actually thank the WSA enough. So thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for doing this very, very important work, Georgie. And we wish to hear from you how this has created a really great impact for you and how it helps you also in forming all these partnerships because the work you do is so much a work of building networks and that is absolutely critical in our societies. Thank you very much, Georgie, and all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.